Alrighty, today we're doing something a little bit different. I got a little time after work and we're fishing the river when it's quite frankly kind of dangerous. We got all this junk floating in the water and it's just a little bit chocolate milky, but hopefully the generation is gonna help these fish from this storm. So that's the goal today is we're just gonna be doing some straight crankbait action and see if we get on that crankbait bite. So uh, let's see what happens. So the two baits that I'm gonna be starting off with today is the C25, which is a 18, like 25 foot diving crankbait, because this river's deep, and if those fish are on the bottom, I'm gonna try getting them. Also, it's just a bigger profile, so bigger fish. Then, I got this little guy. I think this is the Six Sense Dregger. These are both Six Sense by the crankbaits, by the way. This little Dregger I got in a Six Sense box, and I just wanna test it out and see what happens. I'm throwing on my little MGL so I can throw a little bit lighter, but this is honestly probably a BFS crankbait, but. We'll see what happens today. But yeah, I'm gonna start with the big profile and see if we can get a nice bite. Cause I know this bank has some nice fish on it, just from fish that we've caught in the past. I'm gonna see if I can get them to play today. I don't know if you guys can see that on the GoPro, but see this water is swirling here. And so what happens in these little swirls on the river is the bait fish just get trapped into it. And so these predator fish like, you know, bass chase after them. So let's see if we can see any bait balls real quick here. And if we can't see any bait balls, we'll keep on scooting. There was a fish, I would've gotten bit by the little guy. I'm gonna keep tossing the big. Oh my gosh, I got a fish. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Too small. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is going on with spot log, dude? So this current's crazy and spot log's going nuts, but that's the first fish of the day, little guy. And I ended up going with a Strike King 8 XD, 6 XD, something XD. So, sexy Chad, that's all it is. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get the spot lock before it throws me off. Dude, what on earth? I don't know what was the old spot lock there. That was funny. Oh my gosh, dude, this current's absurd, guys. Whew. This is intense, guys, with this current. Like, this is bad. Like, this is actually kind of dangerous. Like straight up, if I fall off, I'm not gonna be able to get back on the boat. This is the first deal. Second deal is spot lock keeps trying to throw me off. You know this current makes for some pretty good fishing on these rock banks if we find them. Oh gosh, I see it. We're going for it. Okay, I see it still. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Dude, I got rocked. Do I still have them on? I think I still have them on. Oh my gosh. Decent small now. Let's go. Does that keep? Dude, what on earth? Oh, oh, he just pooed all over me, dude. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Just crapped all over me. I got spot lock. Just going, dude. You got to chill. Okay, hang on. First off, get the freaking poo off me. There we go. A decent little smallmouth. I don't think he's gonna keep that. 14 inch little smallmouth. Not a bad little smallmouth. Ridiculous. So that was, oh, dude. It, crapped all over me 
so glad. But that was smallmouth number two. Um, literally, that was almost a keeper, so that was kind of sick. I bet we can catch. I'm wondering, but this striking, I don't know what. Oh, oh my gosh, dude, what is going on today? No idea what size strike king this is, but it's working, so I'm not going to complain. Catching some fish, guys. I'm excited about that. I didn't know what to expect because, like I said, I just came here after work because this is just the closest river to me after work where it's only 15 to 20 minutes away instead of having to drive right through the heart of Nashville and fight rush hour traffic the entire time. Oh my gosh, someone just popped it out of the water. Does it still have it? That was ridiculous. I probably wasn't even looking. I was too busy trying to pull out a bird's nest. Oh, I got one. Or did he throw me? No, I still got him, right? No, are you? Oh yeah, I still got him. Smallmouth number three, second smallest of the day. This current is killing me, dude. As soon as, like, if you make any wrong movement with the trawl motor, it's just instantly flipped around. Like, I think I was going four to five miles an hour without the trawl motor on going downstream. But yeah, another one. So I, I had to switch up setups to a mono setup, which is kind of annoying, but still using that Strike King 5XT. Sexy shad, and it's killing it right now. Just up on this rock bank where the current swings right into it, which you can obviously tell by how ridiculous it is, but it's working. Another one. Did he throw it? No, he still has it. We got new species? Heck yeah. First spotted bass of the day. Heck yeah. It's been a second since I've gotten a good crank bite, so it's kind of fun. Even though it doesn't look like I'm having fun because I'm getting ready to scream my head off at any moment if the boat goes straight into the rocks, but it's fun. I don't know how to fish. There we go. Another one. Oh! Let's go, baby. So it kind of seems like the pattern that I'm figuring out. Oh, 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 oh. Don't do it. Don't. So it seems like the pattern that I'm kind of figuring out on this Friday night little quick session after work is that where this current is just blasting up against different structure, those fish are literally just right on top of that structure. So like this giant log here, and honestly, all of them kind of came off logs and I think about it kind of, wherever there's like a giant log, those fish are behind that log seeking shelter. So when that bait goes right up against that log or hits right up against the back of it, they're just striking it immediately. So I'm gonna just keep doing that. And I don't know how many fish I can get before it gets dark, dark, but it's, it's starting to get pretty dark here. So I'm gonna fish a little bit longer and then I'm gonna run back because I don't wanna do this run in the dark because there's so much stuff floating. But we'll see what happens here. Maybe like 10 more minutes. Dang, that knocks slack in my line. Oh wait, is it still on? Oh, dang. That fish straight up knocks slack. So that fish was literally, I don't know if you guys can see that stump right there. It was literally hiding behind that stump. Like I said earlier, where they're hiding behind that cover, where the current's blasting up against it. That's exactly what happened there. So if I can find one more stump or maybe like a rock in the water that's hiding it. Oh no, I didn't mean to turn off the navigation. Ah! 